Hi everybody, it's CRL Productions. Um, this is the uh, video that I was basically talking about setting up for the last you know month or so. It's ranking all the LEGO clone troopers, more or less. Um, yeah, so after the video or right now, whenever, just like and subscribe because I really want to keep growing this channel and keep going and posting stuff for you guys. So without further ado, or with one more um, slide before we start ranking, uh, here it is. So here's some notes first. Um, special event clone troopers, like some Santa clone troopers, for example, just aren't included in this list. Um, and my method for this was simply to give each uh, inferior rank from like S to D. And yeah, I had like kind of third of letter grade, so you'll see um, B plus, for example, there. And um, between you know different B pluses, for example, uh, my opinion from there would be so I tried to be as objective as possible for me. S to D list, and then from the distinct uh, distinguish both the B plus from another B plus. Um, I would go off my opinion. So it's a both a subjective and an objective list. So I hope you understand that. Um, so at fifty seven, very dead last, I have the aerial trooper. Um, it's from the clone turbo tank set, and it's fine. Really, it's I give it a D because it's back bling. Let's call it uh, the. The jetpack, if that's even what it is, is very wacky looking. Um, just not a great looking figure, but it doesn't have much to it other than that very ugly back button. At number 56, we have our Special Forces Commander. Um, I gave it a D plus. I think he's just not good looking. I think using the Stormtrooper mold for something like that, what is this? I've never seen this, and... You know, maybe if I was more familiar with it, I would have understood it better. But I don't think it looks good, to be honest with you. Um, and 55, I have a very similar looking thing. is the Jack 14 with uh, the Stormtrooper helmet. I don't know his story, again, but, you know, it's slightly better looking. It's a little bit less abrasive looking than the previous one, but it's just not, it's not a good thing, in my opinion. At number 54... We have our basic clone trooper from episode three. So you'd see this, for example, in the clone turbo tank um, and in a number of other places. Like there's a battle pack from, I believe, 2007. And it's our basic clone trooper. I mean, it, the thing about the clone troopers is you're not going to have a lot of really bad ones. Um, I don't really think there is a truly terrible clone trooper on this list. So at number 54, to have a C rank just means that none of them are really bad. And that's a good thing, guys. Um, number 53, our basic clone pilot, gave him a C. It's not much more to it. It's not neither bad nor good. Number 52, I, this is a slightly better one. I think it's maybe a little bit of nostalgia for me that um, ultimately gave me, gave him that C plus maybe over the other one. Um, and I like that he's in the ARC 170. Uh, he looks okay. Is what I'll say. I'll say he's okay. And... He's very much improved on later on, and you'll see that. Number 51, we have our Geonosis Air, Airborne Trooper. Um, I give him a C plus, and you guys will not like this. So I just think that the pattern on this clone trooper, for example, just doesn't look right. Um, also, given the fact that this is a Legends character, it's just, you know, it's not a necessary character. I think, you know, if you're going to keep Legends characters, just go with the rate, but if these two clone troopers... Which, as you can see, which you'll see later, I have way higher regard for. Um, number 50, we have an updated clone pilot, but he doesn't have printed legs like there is later, so that's going to uh, adversely affect him. Um, e minus for him. Not a great look, but way better than the other one. Although it was just a difference of a couple thirds of a ladder grade. Now, at 49, this is, this is a big jump from the last one to this one, but I think that the solid color. Pretty much makes it look way better for this. And I, the pauldron gets me too. Um, I think this is objectively a better um, if you're in general the special force clone trooper. 49 with a B minus. 48, we have our updated clone trooper from episode two. Um, this is kind of the template for like the sergeants, the commanders, the um, lieutenants, the captains that you'll see later in the list because they look better with the accentuation. He's a okay minifigure, B minus. Um, probably verging B. And then our first B is the ARF Trooper. This is the one from the Battle Pack that is not with the ARF Trooper. Um, there's a big difference between the two of them. You'll see in the video. 
simply because this one doesn't color match and that its helmet is way less involved than the other one. So I think that, you know, given that this is the worst of what I believe to be three ARF troopers on this list, I don't know if you guys can guess what the third one is. Just maybe now leave a comment down below what you think the third one is. But um, I think it's just, it's not deserving of a higher rank. It's a B. And at 46, we have our episode three clone pilot um, given a B. Uh, this is in the Arc 170. You can see, it's just it's nothing special. It's okay. The helmet is nice, but there's nothing special. And then above it is just the Captain Jag's counterpart. Another B. I didn't think it was much different. It was slightly better, and then it was the name character. It deserved a little bit better. Um, number 44 is a clone pilot. This one's in Palpatine shuttle. Um, and I like I like that it's uh, the face prints way better than the other two. I think, but other than that, it's not too different, right? So. At 43, we have our face one clone gunner. This is a figure that, you know, is growing on me actually now, but I don't think deserves better than a B. Um, the chest mold, I think, is the best part. It's actually metallic um, printing on the middle of the chest, which is a really good look. But other than that, I think the helmet's actually a little bit wacky. Um, at 42, another B, we have our very basic Clone Wars clone trooper, and, you know, it's good. It's really, it's revolutionary kind of, Item, but I don't think that makes it deserve a high grade. I think, you know, the holes in the sides of the helmets are really great, guys, because you can have all these extra customizations that you'll see that you do see in you know, with the visors with the antenna, um, with the flashlight. Like, that's a good thing to have, but I don't think that it's, you know, something like physic or in terms of actual design other than the holes, it's not revolutionary. And it's a step back, I think, from the episode two clone troopers that were of like 2002, from like, for example, the um, Republic gunship of that time. Or at 41, we have a shock trooper, um, our like original shock trooper, shock trooper, sorry, um, a B. Looks okay. At number 40, uh, we have our episode three with dark red accented, um, clone trooper phase two. Uh, I think that it's improved upon later on, and I think it's just, you're going to see that this is okay. It's good. It's not great. 49, here's our episode two clone trooper, um, the original one. And I think it's really ahead of its time, especially with the helmet mold. You can see the detail in that back picture of it. Um, I think they looked really good. I think especially in that gunship set, I think this is one of the best uh, pieces of them. And at 38, I have the clone pilot with the gray accent. So this... I don't think the gray is a great color. However, it looks okay for a pilot. The gray is really dull, but it's okay for this pilot. I think it works well. Um, this is a pretty unique character, I believe, but it's a B plus to me. I don't think it's super special, but it's it looks okay. Um, now here we have with the leg prints the updated pilot, and I think that gets it a huge jump up. What was the other one? Was the other one a B or a B minus? Um, and it was several places lower. It might have been 10 places lower. I think it's, that's the difference between the two. And that's why it gets to be plus. It's just, it looks, it's visually appealing at this point, guys. At 36, we have our phase two clone trooper. That's kind of updated. It's a B plus. It looks okay. Um, definitely an improvement off of the original one. At 35, our jet trooper. Um, the reason it's above the basic Clone Wars one is just the jetpack's a nice mold. Um, that's the state of that one. At 34, we have our Kashyyyk accent kind of one. I guess our two, it's not the 212, it's the 41st, um, I believe. And I think it's okay. It, it's basic, and I think that's what it does well with. Other than that, it's a B plus and B plus and we're now in right around the middle of these clones, and it's a good, it's a good clone. And now we have an updated one. So this is actually pretty high up on the list, in my opinion, just because of that back print and the chest print. And the helmet print is improved. You can't see it here, unfortunately, but if you'd like, you can use that uh, minifigure number that is provided. And you can see that there's actually striping on his um, his mouth area. And it is it is an improved and it's a noticeably improved figure. And now we have our lowest of the kind of accentuated, updated, the episode true episode two uh, clone trooper. I'm sorry guys. Um it's pretty late here. It's 
two thirty almost. But I give him B plus. I don't like this color on in this act situation, but it's it's okay. And now with thirty one, this is an A minus to me. So you're seeing, I think that these are really good troops or troopers throughout um, Star Wars creation, but I don't think that the wolf pack looks great in the phase two. I don't, unfortunately. Um, but I think that it, it looks it looks fine. Um, and I think it looks better. I think it looks better in earlier is what I mean. I don't think it looks bad in any way. I think it looks great, but not, not the best it could be. And you'll see that on what I mean by that. I'm sorry. Um, at 30, guys, command degree, um, the original one. So this one, A minus, I think it looks fine. One of the better phase one troops, and um, it does well. And here we, here we have our clone sergeant. Um, I like this color a lot, and that's what kind of gets it distinct, distinguished from the, uh, what was the captain? And now we, here we have the Genosis clone trooper from Legends, yes. And it's, to me, way better than the airborne version. But it, I, I can't put it much higher because the coloration on it makes me think of leaves. Like, he's just emerged from a pile of leaves, and it's kind of funny looking. But it's fine. And now at 27, we are a phase two shock trooper. What the only thing that stopped me from putting it higher was the helmet looks really wacky. Um, leg print is phenomenal, in my opinion, but the helmet is a little bit misshapen, in my opinion. And I think you can see what I'm saying by that. A minus, just because of that. I think it could have been a lot higher, it could have been an A plus or even an S tier if they had done the helmet well. So here we have Commander Neo or a Bark Trooper, A minus. I don't like the, what they got going on with the um, mismatched arms. And the helmet print, I think they actually could have done even better. But the leg print is pretty nice. Um, and I like the con continuity of the um, insignia on the helmet, chest piece, and legs. At 25, we have, I don't think this is yet the highest ranked pilot, but it's up there. Um, we have an A, and it's the V-Wing pilot. I think just the color scheme for this works really well. I think it's picking the best of both worlds with the last two pilots that we looked at, the last two non-Phase um, 1 pilots, rather, and you're getting this pilot. At 24, we have the other art trooper from a battle pack, um, and he does a way better job in including the color matching with the other person in his battle pack. And the helmet markings, I think, are a lot more um, intriguing to me. At 23, we have a Phase 1 Wolfpack um, clone trooper. It's an A. Uh, you can just see the helmet marking is really pretty, and you can see why I have it way higher than the um, Phase 2. I think this just looks better with the Phase 1. And at 22, I think this is our highest pilot, um, or 5 of the first one. I think it just, I think the helmet marking is the only one that's like that, and it is spot on with that. Um, I think they could have done better if they had made the body a little bit more blue, you know, match that 501st on it, but maybe they'll have another opportunity in the future. I'm at 21, you have Jack 14. This, I think, is a nice figure. The only thing that gets me, I think, is the... I don't get the like force wielding aspect of him, but I and also the mismatch arm. I do like the translucent blue. Though. I think that's pretty sick. Um, at twenty, we have the clone lieutenant. It's an A. I like this color on him. It's not the best one yet, but you'll see the best one yet, and you'll see how highly I regard that one. But I think the blue on this looks pretty nice. And now at nineteen, we have the two twelve. Um, iconic and the grit and like the kind of scuff marks just show that they've been through so much which they have been, you know. Uh, and I think that's what really got me with this over, over anything else. If, for example, let's do the Genosis one or the Shock Trooper. Is that those grip marks just show me that, you know, these this is a regiment of the clone troopers that have been just through so much in the clone wars. And I really like that detail and that kind of insight to the show. At 18, we have Commander Wolf. Um, I think he deserves a little bit higher than the Phase 1 um, basic Wolf Patrick just because he's a named character. And I just, I, I like, uh, I like way, the way it looks. I don't think he's as great as some of the other Phase 1 commanders, but he's, he does a good job. At 17, we have, I think this is the highest of this, um, it is definitely the highest of this mold. 
it's the Star Quarter, but I think the um, kind of the printing on him is ahead of its time. The pauldron looks great, and I think this was just this was by far the best clone with that small um, on this guy. And Phase One Captain Rex, I think they're putting a little higher, I think now, but an A suits him. Um, obviously, you can see by now that I think the Phase Two is better than the Phase One. The Markings on the helmet are great. I think the only issue with this trooper is there's nothing on the chest. Um, the blue arms are a nice addition, but there's nothing on the chest, guys. I think that's what keeps him from being higher. I think the helmet, helmet is an S tier helmet all the way, but there's nothing on the other end of the figure. And that's the issue. At uh, 15, we have the phase two gunner. So you can see there's a huge difference between the two. I think that the phase one had an A, had a B rather, and this one is an A plus. Um, I think he just has a great chest and leg print, and the helmet print's all, pr quite all right. So he's an A+. Plus. The helmet print actually took from the Phase 1. It could have been even higher. At 14, um, we have Captain Locke. If you're going to give it a name character, I think otherwise he's called the Horn. Um, Horn Battalion, maybe it is. Clone Trooper. And I just think that the um, insignias on this guy are amazing. A plus to me. Um, and I think he was a very early character, or one of the very early clones to have a so he deserved that for um, number 14A+. Plus. And number 13, we have our Phase 2 cat, Kashyyyk Trooper, with an A+, plus as well. Um, I like the camo. Uh, it's just, it's slightly lacking, in my opinion, compared to what you'll see later on, but it's a fine, it's a fine figure, and I like the green visor a lot. That's a lot. I think that's probably the best part of this figure is the green visor. At 12, we have our final first Legion clone trooper. It's really nice. I don't think it deserves an S tier. I think you'll see how many have an S tier, and it's not it's not a lot. So why I put this at an A plus is that it looks great, and also it inspired a battle pack, guys. You know, if this wasn't there to already kind of tease at something like that, the battle pack might have not come out like that. Um, and then we've just been, you know, here we get this one set of this. So I think this guy's necessary to kind of make a way into getting us the battle pack. So um, Lego is forced to release multiple of them at once. And at 11, we have our Airborne Clone Trooper from Utapau. I think this is um, way better than the other Airborne because it appears in the movies and it, all, or the camera on the bottom, on the plus scuff marks, it puts together all the great aspects of the U12 Troopers with that, um, with the corrections on the flaws of the other airborne that is in this video. So good job on LEGO for doing that. And number 10, Phase 2 Commander Group with gray lines. This is a distinction that actually matters a lot in this, you'll see later. Um, this is from the earlier, I think, AT, AP, or no, this is from the clone turbo tank from maybe five years back or so. Um, looks great, green visor is amazing, and very unique fig. Looks a little bit bare, but does a good job. Um, at nine, our free first elite. This one shows up with Commander Greek quite a lot and also shows up in a battle pack. Um, great, and you'll see why it ranks below a different one. But uh, I think the helmet shape is a little bit strange. But I think it's, it's in no way inaccurate. That's why it uh, ranks highly, is because it's an accurate figure and the body print and like are. Fantastic. As well as the helmet print, just the shape to me is a little bit off. Eight is the next one. So this is the other side of that, which is the re recent, or not the recent, the um, original one from the turbo tank. And why I have it so high is that for its time, the printing on this figure is fantastic. Look at the waist print, look at the leg print, look at the chest print, and then the helmet mold is amazing. And, and the color choices, I think, arguably the best part of this figure. Um, it's unique and it's, you know, it's a miss. People love this figure 15 years after it's released. It's 2020 now. It was released in 2005. I have this figure. I love it. And I couldn't put it any lower than this in terms of uh, it's an S tier figure, in my opinion, which means that the rest of the figures are S tier. Seven is Commander Cody. Um, this one comes out, I believe, with a gunship. I had him, lost him a while back. Um, printing. Uh, Printing, coloration, and you know, accessory inclusion, all is 
in mind. There's nothing bad I can really say about this figure, um, but it's just outshined by a little bit by a few other ones. Um, you'll see. Number six is my favorite phase one, I believe. Um, this Commander Fox, I think it just, he's pretty rare in terms of just where he came from was, um, a set I don't believe sold that much. That's why it's a little bit expensive now, but I think, uh, you know, this, this figure is, always has been and was my uh, favorite uh, of the Phase 1 clones, so I like this one. At 5, we have the highest of these uh, accentuated, updated Episode 2 clone troopers. There we go. Um, and it's the clone commander. Looks just like he does in the movie. I think that's the, that really got me to put him so high, because he's probably, out of all these, the most accurate on the list. Um, and he looks great. The color choice is fantastic. At four, um, you have the black lined command degree, and that gets you from an A plus to an S. Um, I think it's a lot more distinct, and I think that gets that's the big difference. I think it's fine, and big, it's an S tier figure. Very few things that can be changed, but I think if you find a way to maybe put a polisher in there or something, or like a, like a paper or not paper, a cloth polisher, that would be the best. I would make it like an S plus. Maybe moves it up to a, to a number one spot. At number three, we have our Arc Trooper. Um, so you can use that type of look with that last figure, and you get a, maybe a number one figure. But uh, Arc Trooper has a very unique helmet mold. Um, nobody else has this helmet mold. I know that for a fact. Um, the toe mold is really cool, too. Um, just great detail all around, especially for a figure that was in a battle pack. And the maroon colored ac uh, accessories are great as well. Um, absolute beast of the figure and I think my favorite one in my collection. Number two we have our Shadow Arf. Um, this one I don't know if you guys thought was going to be in this one but you would be able to call me out on it if I didn't have it. Um, I just think you know this has a lot more meaning to it than even just the look. It means a lot for you know May the 4th it means a lot for like promos and it it's really what Lego can do at its best um well, not at its very best, we'll see what's at its very best, but I mean, if anybody's doing some process of elimination, you already know what the one is. But this Shadow Arf, I think just, it's very well done. And, you know, there's nothing to be changed on it. Maybe do leg printing. But I don't think that even would move it into number one, which is Phase 2 Captain Rex. Um, everything about this figure is, you know, what I've been saying is just the best parts of each of the previous ones. So you have the scuff marks, you have the feet printing, the leg printing, which to me is just a fantastic and necessary thing for a great main figure. And then the helmet is just wonderful. Um, honestly, um, put that phase one helmet on this figure and you get maybe the other number one. Uh, because I think the phase one helmet might be better than the phase two. However, given everything else in the whole uh, look of this figure, this is a number one figure to me and it's not that close between the number one and two um and then guys just thanks for watching please just like and subscribe i really need that for growing this page and my instagram and tiktok are captain rex lego both are the same thing and tell me what you think in the comments so uh with that and without further uh, words thank you and have a